Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be ranking every single Drobuchy Dash main level except Dash because the tier list isn't new enough. I know, I know 50,000 other YouTubers have done this in the past but uh, my opinion is the only correct opinion. Everyone else is incorrect. If you listen to them you will get brain rot. So uh, only listen to me. So first up we got Stereo Madness. Uh, give it a meh tier. Like, I know it's the first level you gotta have to give it some credit because it's the level that everybody knows about and the level to prove that if you're even good at drum shit ash really but uh this level just sucks like the music isn't that good like forever bound he's only featured in Stereo Madness and it's honestly not gonna lie the song isn't that good the level is pretty basic which I guess I, you can kind of forgive because it's the first level but like other than that really there's nothing good going with the level it's just a pretty average level to say the least and the triple spikes even make it worse and the third coin the third coin's too hard no one's gonna do the third coin on their first attempt so that's why it's getting meh and that's the reason why back on track's getting okay it's simply better the song is better the gameplay is better you know you get the little yellow jump pads where you can bounce everywhere it's not just jumping over crap you know uh the ship part is a little bit harder which is I guess why it's the second level, but honestly, back on track does everything Stereo Madness does just 10 times better, really, and that's why it's getting an okay tier. Next, we got us Polter, guys. We'll give it an okay tier as well. Honestly, not the best level by far. I prefer back on track as a song, but the gameplay, again, it's a little bit more varied than Stereo Madness to get the little yellow jump orbs where you can bounce in the air and stuff. That's cool. And, uh,. Not really much else to say with Poltergeist. I guess the first coin is pretty cool because when you collect the coin, it syncs with the music. If you don't know about that, try to level yourself. But um, yeah, Poltergeist is not bad. The gameplay is a little bit more interesting, I guess. That's the only reason why it's going in okay. Drought is a good tier. The reason why Drought is good is because, yes, it's the upside down flippy gravity portal thing. Whenever I watch like a new person play Geometry Dash, they always screw up there because it's like, oh my god. Everything's upside down. But secondly, the song's also pretty good. Like, you, you can't admit the drop of the song. When everyone goes upside down, that part of the song is goaded. Which is why it's going in good. Alright, uh, what happened to base after base? Oh, over there. Base after base is going in the bad tier. No one likes base after base. It's like a copy of Can't Let Go, which is going in okay. But the problem with base after base is that it's just mediocre, to say the least. Like, there's not as much interesting things going out there, like Dry Out or Poltergeist or Back on Track. Nothing new features in the level. Uh, it's just a bunch of jumping here and there. It's not really much else interesting. It doesn't feature any new mechanics. Instead, you're just feeling dread. Because Can't Let Go does it 10 times better. Even though both of the levels are very similar, like you get the middle section where it's just black and you jump over a bunch of stuff. Can't Let Go has a better song. Um... Overall, it's just a better level. The gameplay is just harder, I guess. That's the only reason why it's going there. Like, I, I don't know. Can't let go is more interesting. Uh, Jumper. No one likes Jumper. Like, Jumper is just a bait of my existence. It's such an annoying level. It's one of my least favorite Water Flame songs. And honestly, it's just not that good of a level. Like, as the name suggests, you just jump over shit stuff. And, like, it's pretty annoying because, like, it's a really really pissed level like if you die near the end you get really pissed because of how annoying the level is like it's not fun to play and it's just it's just painful really it's just torture no one likes jumper uh time machine it's going in the meh category it was going to go down there but i guess it's a little interesting you know you get the mirror portal even though no one uses that ever but it exists trust me it exists uh, the problem with the level time machine is it's way too hard, not gonna lie. It's like 10 times more difficult than Jumper. So it took me a really long time to beat it, in fact, because of the difficulty jump. And secondly, um, it's, it's just lame, not gonna lie. Nothing interesting. The song is too boring. Nothing going good with the level. Next we got here is Cycles. Cycles is getting an okay tier. Yes, even though Cycles is the land of triple spikes and killing yourself, the song is a little bit better like i'll give cycles a little bit of credit the song is a little bit better and once you get past the first cue part you kind of like oh my god i did it i can actually play the rest of the level now it, like the first cue part is the most annoying part because it's where every triple spike is and secondly because it's so unbalanced the level's really hard at the beginning and after that cue part it's pretty easy so that's why it's only getting an okay and nothing else is because the level is ridiculously unbalanced X step is getting a good category. I like the song. It's not too bad. Especially oh shit. 
especially it being the first insane level, it's honestly easier than Cycles, not gonna lie. Like, most people probably beat X-Step before Cycles. Like, come on. But, um, with X-Step, I don't know. I don't know what gets introduced in X-Step. I don't think anything new is in X-Step. I don't know, gameplay's a little bit whack, especially at the ship portal, ship part, where all the blue gravity portals are there, and you're, like, confused because you're not actually meant to hit them, but they're there. It's a little bit confusing, a little bit wacky, the design, but the song is not that bad, which is why it's going good, good. Clutterfuck, uh, I don't know, either one. Ah, uh, there, because it's pretty annoying, not gonna lie. The level is not too good, it's pretty annoying. The song is wacky, it's there, it's interesting, it's Water Flame, you know, he's trying new shit out, but Clutterfuck, I guess the mini portal introduction is cool, but overall the level is it's it's mostly balanced except the middle sh ball part. The ball part's way too easy, but um, it's mostly balanced. It's just a problem I have with Clutterfuck. It's just how annoying the gameplay is. Really, it's like Jumper. Really, the gameplay is pretty annoying. The only reason why it's going to get okay is because it has a better song. Next, we get a theory. Of everything. Uh, it's a pretty interesting level. Not gonna lie. You know, you get the weird choose a path little things. Even though there's nothing new in the level. Actually, no. The UFO. The UFO was new in the level. But no one cares about the UFO. Um, more people care about the choose a path little thing. It's pretty weird. Uh, it's it's interesting. That's the only reason why it's up there. It's interesting. Like no other level does the choose the path little thing except Dorobay choose way. And look at where it is now. Fifty thousand dislikes or whatnot. <laughs> I'm still sick, by the way. Ignore that. But uh, that's why it's going up there. The song. It's okay. It's not up there. Like I don't know, dry out or except really. But uh, it's not too bad. Electromat Adventure is my go-to go to tier awesome. I don't know why I like Electromat Adventures a lot, but it's such a go-to level, not gonna lie. The gameplay is not too bad. The song is really good, and I guess the whole level looks different because it is different. That's the whole purpose of Electro Di uh fuck Electromad Adventures. Because the thing is, there's a lot of new stuff that was introduced in this update. Like it there's not really anything gameplay-wise except nothing actually. I don't think anything was added gameplay wise, but the decoration's completely different. Instead of just the basic tier blocks that you normally get with Zero Madness, um, instead you get this brand new look. Like it, it has a brand new feel to the level. Instead of just this boring block, which is used in every single level before then, you get this pretty more, uh, interesting look with the new, I don't know, these new blocks that are more, like they look like crystals, I don't know, they're clear, they're they're just cool, really. Like, especially like this part. It's completely different, the look and feel, to every other level previously. And uh, yeah, the song's pretty good, and the gameplay's pretty good, and the decoration, it's finally there. That's why it's getting a goaded awesome tier. Club Step, on the other hand, it's getting an okay tier. Maybe good, but it's more of an okay for me. It's a pretty boring level. Yeah, it's the first demon, but it does a pretty bad job at being a demon. It's too easy. Um, the gameplay is pretty annoying, like, all the invisible blocks here and there, that is so annoying, not gonna lie. Like, it is pretty brutal to put invisible blocks everywhere, and invisible spikes here and there. Um, it's an okay level, it's just a gameplay is pretty annoying, just like Jumper and Clonifunk, really. It's just a gameplay that brings it down. I don't appreciate it, it's very wacky at times, where you have to go between the blocks and you have to do this and that. Pretty difficult to sight read the level. I guess it's because it's a demon, but still, not the best example out there as a demon. Electrodynamics is getting another goaded, because the song! It's a song, really, and a lot of cool things were added in this level as a result of the update. Like, the new speed changes, you know? Like, it's pretty subtle, but, like, the speed changes add so much character to the game. Whenever there's a massive drop, instead of going really slow all the time, you can go fast and you can go slow. And I just like the feel of Electrodynamics, because it's such a perfect level to introduce speed changes. The song is very dramatic, there's a lot of cool stuff in the song. That, and I just love the pulsing in the level as well. Like, the amount of pulsing, the colours changing, that's why Electrodynamics is getting an uh, get awesome tier. Top tier. Hexagon Force, on the other hand, is getting a good tier. Obviously, not as hyped up as Electrodynamics. Uh, but the duel part, it introduces the duel, which is interesting, to say the least, because... Uh, yeah, duel. No, everybody likes to duel. Even though the first cube duel is pretty difficult. Everybody keeps dying at the end of that. But like, that aside, it's a pretty good introduction to the duel because it's not symmetrical. Like, I swear, every single level nowadays that feature a duel is always symmetrical. And Hexagon Force, the first level to introduce the duel, does not 
make it symmetrical. So get your act together, creators, you know? Hexagon Force just does it better. The decorations also completely changed again, has a new look, has a new vibe. The song, not as hyped up, not as good as Electrodynamics, which is why it brings it down to good only. And I guess the decoration here and there is not pulsing. It's more of a chill level, but that's why it's getting a good. Blast processing is getting a good as well. Not an awesome tier, like most people would suggest, because yeah, it's a wave gameplay, but the problem with the level is too slow, in my opinion. There's no really anything that brings up the level. There's no epic drop or a speed change, really. I guess it's there because they're introducing a new game mode, which is the wave, which is still by far one of the hardest game modes out there um, to play. But honestly, it just needs more vibe to it. It needs more dramatic element to the level because it feels way too chill. It feels way too... It just feels way too sterile right now. It needs more speed changes. It needs more pulsing. It needs more... Bam. Next, we get a theory over everything to... It's getting a good for me. It's getting a good, not an awesome. It's the decorations completely changed again. Has another new vibe to it, which is this I don't know futuristic vibe. I don't know what Long Top was thinking of, but it exists and it's not too bad of a level. The gameplay is a little bit annoying, which is why it's only getting a good, not an awesome. But the song is pretty cool, and the overall vibe to the level is pretty cool. The decoration is pretty good, and it's just the gameplay that brings it down really. Okay, we got this level. This level's a meh. No one likes this level. Okay, I don't know. This level kind of sucks. The problem is, like, it's a good introduction to 2.0, which is by far one of the biggest updates in the world in Geometry Dash, except 2.2, I guess. But because you, you get all the moving objects and the color and everything. It's a massive update. But the problem I have with Geometrical Dominator is just that part, the memorizing part. That's such an annoying part, in my opinion, which is why it brings down the level so much. The gameplay is pretty annoying. The song isn't that good, in my opinion. It fits, it matches the vibe, but it doesn't match by standards, really. I just don't like the level that much. The memorizing part's also ridiculously stupid. Like, no one likes that part. Deadlocked. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to give it. I'll give it a good, okay. Not a good, not an awesome. Because again, the gameplay is really annoying. I don't know why, but I don't like the gameplay at all. Uh, it's way too, it's 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 a good demon. It's just pretty annoying to play. Like, yeah, it is. It's a pretty annoying level to play. That's just the reason why I don't like it as much. But the I guess the thing that Deadlock does better than... Geometrical Dominator really is um, just this use of I don't know, I guess the decorations a bit better and the music, which is why it gives it an okay. Finger Dash uh, I don't know, it's either, it's these two really I give it a good, I give it some credit it's not bad of a level, the song I wouldn't say I like the song but it's out there, it's out there and uh, it's an okay level, it's not that bad I guess the, the gameplay is not too bad but I guess the problem with Finger Dash really is just the decorations a little bit garbage. Like, you can't admit, when you compare Geometrical Dominator or De De Deadlock to Finger Dash, you can tell, like, the game, the decoration kind of suffered a bit. There's not as, there's not as much moving objects, really. There's just not as much, you know, decoration in Finger Dash that I would have hoped for compared to Deadlock or Geometrical Dominator. Which is why it's only getting a good. It's just a song and, I guess, the gameplay, really, all the new changes. All the new stuff that came in 2.1 is kind of the reason why I'd get boosted up to good. Uh, these levels all suck because no one cares about levels that came from other games. This tier list absolutely sucks because I don't know why anyone cares about that. The challenge level is goaded though because we all love it. And yeah, that's my tier list. Done. Thank you. Thank you everybody for watching. This level is the best. I Nothing else beats the challenge. Literally nothing else. That's my tier list. It'll be in the description if you care. I didn't make this, so yeah. I didn't make the tier list, so... I don't know, copy off me if you care.